All right, so gold, when you first log in, you got to look at the Magenta MA, whether you're trading gold or crude. We established one thing this morning. It takes you a nano of a second to establish one important thing. Am I in one trend or am I in two chop? There's only two things the market can do. We can either trend or we can chop, okay? Typically, out of five trading days out of the week, you're three trend, two chop, or three chop, two trend. You've got to know how to trade both markets or you will not be successful in the futures market. So we know how to trade both markets. We know we look at the Magenta MA here in the five minute, the first thing we do. We have to establish that that is exactly the, the bias in the market. It is down. So if it's angled down 35 to 45 degrees, we look to sell three of my top indicators on the five minute chart. You must predicate your trades off the five minute chart. This two minute chart means nothing. This 89 tick entry chart means absolutely nothing until you establish where is going to be my sell zone if I'm in a downtrend. If the magenta is in a downtrend, 35 to 45 degree angle down, which it is, we know we're only taking shorts on crude. I mean on, uh, on gold this morning. Okay, no matter what, 45 degree angle down, we look to short three of these top indicators. Here's the HVA, which are the red dots here, our red plus signs. There's my hedge fund, uh, the hedge fund, and here's my roller. So as we approach that this morning, we get a what? We get a, we want to look for a reversal bar, which is a red reversal bar to pop us in the trade. The red reversal bar was right here to the exact bar. Our first target is going to be an automated uh, ATM that we have on our dome, or we can use a first set of symmetry dots. Second set of symmetry dots will bail 75%. Okay, so that's the first trade. Then we have another qualified setup that just came up now, which is the previous high of day. I teach you traders that if you test the previous high of day, if you are in a downtrend or flat, if we test the previous high of day for the first test, you can short the first test. The exact red bar entries right here, right there at the highs. So you got two back-to-back -back trades on gold with trend. They both worked out beautiful. Two back-to-back -back trades because you don't take this trade right here. You never take the second test of an HVA or roller. You take the first test of the trades. We have two back-to-back -back trades. There's your first one. Here's your second one. You gold traders are looking really pretty this morning. And uh, two of my qualified trades are that I teach you exactly how to trade. You are two for two. There's a symmetry dot fill. So there's our exact red bar entry. There's our symmetry dot target. There's our exact red bar entry to the exact bar. There's our symmetry dot target. What these previous high days look like. I have them as red and green bars on the 89 tick. We had a big low here yesterday that it called also. Look at that low. That's gorgeous. And now it's calling the high here this morning. Right there. So not only called the low yesterday on my methodology, called that big pop at 940, according to my method on the previous low day. It's categorized as these red green dots. There's my previous high day. And look at the same setup. This is a long. This is a short. Okay. This is a long bias yesterday. So we had... The market was in a long bias all day yesterday. We had a buy bounce, and now we got a sell bounce. So you got to stick with trend there, guys. Stick with trend, and the five minutes are your most, most important chart. So gold, you're looking at two for two this morning already off my three top indicators and my previous high of day. We're looking great. So gold was in a down trend, only sell, use my red bar reversal technique to pop in the trade. Did it have divergence? Absolutely. We had supply right at the previous high of day. Look at my bottom indicator. That's indicating more supply than demand, just like my previous one did here. Look at that. Lower high, lower high, right into it. I use that bottom indicator as I come into resistance. I use that bottom indicator, and that told me right there. You probably ask why I have these levels over here, L3. L3 I use with trend only. If trend is down, I look to sell into L3. So that gave me three, a lot of confluence here. It gave me hitting the previous high of day on the first test with the downtrend. It gave me supply, which is a lower high. I hit into L3, which is a major overbought uh, uh, territory, major overbought territory in a downtrend. What more do you want from a trade on these two setups? There it came into my three stacked areas, and then I got the red reversal bar with supply, lower high in divergence, higher high in price. Then I get a higher high in price, lower high in divergence with the red reversal bar. For some of you new to the room, you just look for the red reversal bar to make it easy for you and then you uh, can enter your trade on the first red reversal bar, okay? It doesn't matter if it breaks a previous high day, you look for the first red reversal bar because you're going to know, Paul, right away, if you get a red reversal bar and it comes down to the previous high day at 53.80 and I got a green reversal bar, you take a small profit, right? 
If not, you're good to go. It's going to slide, right? I go over this all the time where it can break through. I just know if it reverses right here and straddles 53A on a green reversal bar, I get the heck out, right? Does that make sense, man? You got to trade price action. Price action said we're going lower, and it broke right through it. Okay, buddy? Great question. Go over to crude real quick, Gerald. We'll shut this off. Crude oil. Crude oil told me one thing this morning. No shorts. Okay? No shorts at all. Zero shorts. You cannot take shorts at all. None. No shorts at all in crude oil. So what are we doing? We had a breakout at 6.30 this morning above my symmetry dots. We had a retest long of the HVA. So no, no shorts at all. So how do we get in the trade? Well, this big uh, uh, red line over here, big box, is a, pre, a previous high weekly, uh, uh, monthly, quarterly, and yearly. So this big red box and blue boxes that show up are major support and major resistance. So we get through these boxes, right? We look for a retest long. We're retest long with overall trend direction. And that's what a lot of you guys got. I think, Rick, you got 19 ticks. Don, you got on that trade, right? Uh, uh, who, who got on the long on, on, on oil? Uh, you, you members this morning. Uh, who, who all got long on oil? You did? Don, Ken, M. David, you got long. Junior, good job. 77, good fill, man. Chris, Dimitri, good job. Shouldn't have got stopped. It never hit. It never hit your 15 tick stop out. Even 13 ticks. Never even came close. So unless you're using a type stop. So, um, but you know, the bottom line is, is that we come up to two ticks within, within 19 ticks on oil. Good, good. Um, here's your first target, guys and gals. There's your first target. All oh, you moved it up. All oh, your streets. So you, you made money on the trade. Is what you're saying? Right here's your first target. Oh, so you just, yeah, you got antsy on the trade, huh? I got you. Yeah, unless you get to the first target, you got to let these breathe. Yep, you got to let them breathe. Got to let the trade breathe. If you start tight, your top uh, stops too early on a trade, especially with oil, you're going to get nicked and nickled and dimed all day long. All right, so if we go, uh, da, 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 where are we at? So if you look at the bias, the bias has been up this morning. So we want to trade the long side setups. Okay, and there we go as far as the first set of symmetry dots. I like to front run, front run within two ticks. So you front run within two ticks. 